Hi, how are you? It's Travis in here, and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we were able to free Arkoa, but we were not so lucky with Akali. He was consumed by the prophet of Akali, who was going to be giving his essence and power to his master. And today, we're going to continue doing quests here in Zimtorga. I have a chat here with Chronicler Tokini. Talk to me. Though my compatriots would have you take an active role in what is transpiring in Zuldrak, we Zandalari are primarily here to witness what is occurring and to chronicle the end of an empire. Relics of the Snow Leopard Goddess. Lita. I overheard that you were going to see the well-being of Harkoa. Good luck to you. I'm wondering if while you are in the vicinity of the altar, you would be willing to recover the relics. I do not require many and it is only a short trip to the southeast. What do you say? Be seeing, so I guess we should have picked up these quests earlier. Be with Hex you, caches. Man. Pardon me, flight carrier. I'm given to the to understand that you might be heading northeast to the Zolmaz stronghold. Such a trip presents a great opportunity for us to conclude our Drakari goods gathering. As I have come to know, the Drakari warlord is extremely paranoid. He's had all of his caches at the stronghold hexed with dire magic. Rumor has it that his Tiki warriors carry the cure. What, but who can say? If you could find the time to acquire some of those goods, I would be most appreciative. Later. All right, so we'll pick up all the quests in this zone. I think today our goal will be to try to finish hey as many as we can in this little village. Simtorga is able to provide us with a certain level of protection, but but she has been greatly weakened by the presence of the Scourge and the actions of the Jakari. It falls to me and Ahunai to see to the rest of our defenses, Enchanted Tiki Warriors. I know that you're headed up to the Zolmaz stronghold to the northeast, Druid. While you're there, I need you to deal with the Warlord's special guardians. The Enchanted Tiki Warriors, as they're called, represent a very real threat. If the Jakari were to mass produce them, we'd quickly be overrun. Let's you and I demonstrate that they're not worth the effort to create, shall we? Bye bye now. And we have one more quest here. Or two What's more. Beyond your mind? Scalper Ahunai. Ahunai's axe will be the end of the Jakari. You'll be taking care of any that get past my axe, the leaders of Jin Alai. Spirits. Be you thinking that mind. Uhunai thinking, man? Some of the Jakari trolls have gathered at the pools of Jin Alai to the north southwest we be needing to draw out their leaders and the hunai knows just how you be doing it too go in there and kill those trolls when you kill enough their leaders show up when you when they show up next to their totems you make sure to be getting the treasure of kutubisa gawanyo and chulo the madman stay away from the hoodoo. woolly justice the hunai here about your trip to Mammoth Crater, man. The children of Mammoth are enraged and cry out for justice. Follow the avenue northeast up the steps to the next tier of Zuldrak. On your right, you will find what's left of the altar of Mamtoth. When you get there, flash the medallion of Mamtoth in front of the eyes of one of the enraged mammoths. It'll calm down for a little while, letting you hop on its back. Ride it around trampling on all the Mammoth disciples that you can find. That should be an interesting Careful. quest. Looks like we got a herb over here. And I watched the race to uh, for World First Classic Uldar. And it wasn't that long. It was only an hour and 19 minutes. The guild by the name of Beef Bar won. And they actually were not streaming. So... I wasn't really able to watch their point of view, but I did get to watch the point of view of the second place uh, guild. It was progress. They did pretty damn good. Damn, I pushed that guy back. But I thought it was going to be... Oh my gosh, we're going to fight make too many of these guys. I'm doing the war stop. Nope, looks like war stop didn't work there. Was rough. <laughs> we pulled too many. <laughs> that happens sometimes when you're a boomkin. 
You let Star fall out, and then you pull the entire room. But yeah, it was a good race. A lot faster than I expected. It was an hour and, I believe, 19 minutes. And they did it on hard mode. Algalon got killed as well. And uh, I was surprised. I thought it was going to be like at least three hours, but I guess I was wrong. People too good these days. But the next one I'm interested in seeing is um, Ice Crown Citadel on Heroic. See how that goes. That'll be a really awesome raid to watch. Not that pumped up for uh, Trial of the Crusader. It's not too many bosses. Let's show you guys here. Yeah, there's like only, like, what, six bosses? Or five? Yeah, there's five bosses. It's not too many. I think the last thing here is just a ch tribute chest, and that's if you have like 50 attempts left, you get a lot of good stuff. So yeah, only five bosses, so that won't be too much of a race. I expect that one to be done probably under an hour. But it will be on Heroic at least, so we'll see how that, that goes. Try to get their leaders to appear here. You can do a starfall. Oh, there's one leader, I think. There's Chulo. That looks like a badass. And you can watch uh, the the race actually, the, the beef bar completing in an hour and 19 minutes. Even though they weren't streaming the raid, they did upload a video to YouTube, which was pretty damn cool. But you just gotta type in, you know, Beef Bar, you know, Old Dar World first, and it should come up on YouTube. low down. I think there's a couple more that we need to uh, get to show their faces here. And did we have to bring them to a totem? I think we have to fight them near this totem. bunch of different totems here. Oh, that guy healed for a lot. Yeah, I can't wait for the ICC race. I wonder if Beef Bar will win again. And the e and EU, like they totally wrecked NA. I think there were six EU guilds that slayed Algalon or an American guild, or U.S. guild, killed, uh, killed Algalon. Shout out to Fusion for getting the first, uh, U.S. side Algalon kill. It's a tough raid. Like, I thought it was going to be tough. I, I'm so surprised they were able to finish it in, like, an hour and 19 minutes. Which is going to make make it even more interesting to see the, the speed runs that people do, or guilds do, right? We'll probably see the raid cleared in under an hour. After, you know, players get all the gear that they want.
All right, so we slay like every single troll here almost. <laughs> so we'll see uh, if we can get some more summoned here. That's Chulo's totem. So one should spawn here and then another one should spawn there. I don't think we're done this quest. We got a lot of quests to do though today. And maybe after doing a bunch of these, we may get level 76. And I'm pretty pumped up to get this Boomkin eventually into Oldar. We'll probably... Maybe get into raiding by the end of uh, Phase 2 or the end of the Uldar patch. Right before they release Trial of the Crusader. Not really in any rush. Main raid I want to do is Ice Crown Citadel. Be awesome to slay the Lich King once again. Yeah, I wonder what's going on with this quest. We've slayed a bunch of them. Treasure of Chulo the Mets. So we should have that. Did we get the treasure of Chulo the Mets. Maybe we have to go to the totem to get it. Maybe it's in his totem. It didn't work. Let's let me look at the quest again here. We gotta get the treasure of each one. We slayed the Chulo guy. I'm not too sure. I guess we didn't loot him. There's one. So let's see if he has this treasure. No treasure. Oh, there it is. So it drops on the ground after they die. It's not on their body. Okay. So mistakes were made. Just didn't pay attention. I wonder how many trolls you have to slay to get the rest these uh, warlords to come out. Getting a lot of Jakari offerings though. Probably uh, head back and turn this quest in. And we'll... Get one of the offerings. I want to get the mana one, that's for sure. I think it's just north of, of the village. I think it's just right up here. Yeah, the blessing of her. Oh my gosh. <laughs> One of those days. Not paying attention. But yeah, there's all these blessings. I want to uh, try to get at least these two. I didn't know I had a dot on me. I knew we were low health though, but I thought it was okay after he died. Hopefully that's our final death. You guys are higher level than me. I should probably show them a little bit more respect. It takes a while to get them to come out though.
And we'll use one of these uh, healing power elixirs. We'll use the elixir Dranic Wisdom. Just a little bit more intellect and spirit. We're getting a lot of XP though. group here. I think four is good enough. I'm gonna push the limits here. I'm gonna run out of mana. Surprised we haven't pulled one yet. Haven't been able to get one to come out. And I'm currently queued up for the group quest, The Gods Have Spoken. It's a quest where you have to slay the elites. Hopefully we can find a group for that. We have so many offerings. There we go. Guani. Guanio. Kawanio. Let's have a drink before we pull this guy. Oh, we're already getting attacked here. Maybe we can pull them both. Let's go for it. There we go, we got the treasure, the treasure of Gua, Gawa Neo. Now we just need one more, the one we forgot to get. Should have star fall up soon.
Get a lot of frost weed, which is good. Could potentially get pretty close to 450 first aid. I think it takes around 10 mobs. Like you have to slay 10 trolls. Maybe a little bit more. To summon one of these. I guess I could call them warlords. Or leader. couple up here. We can maybe some get all these ones. Maybe we can pull off only four. That would be nice. Pop barks can hear. Some menu it's heal ability. Heal for a lot. Oh, we got another one pulling here. Might have to use a health pot. Don't have a lot of mana. So it's gonna be on our trends to uh, do most of the damage here. How many Jakari offerings we have now? We healed the Trent. There we have 61. Not bad. And there he is. Chulo the Mad has been spawned. Let's not forget his treasure this time. And there we go. That was a long quest. We slayed like, I don't know, maybe 40, 50 trolls. All right, so we're going to get this buff. The Blessing of Zimtorga. Total stats by 10%. That's an amazing buff right there. It's probably the best one that you could get. Be seeing ya. You be the druid careful, must be back man. talking to Ahunai because the druid has all that treasure. Spirits the scalper thinking you, that you be his kind of Toran. What's these candy bars doing in here? What we do with this man? Ahunai say that you can have them back. Oh, we got people selling XP boosts. Oh, all good. <laughs> Trying to make some coin as a mage. Wonder how he boosts.
I wonder how he boosts dungeons or something like that. Yeah, nothing really of value there for us. Stay away from them. Yeah, Hall of Lightning. Oh, cool. Yeah, he does boost in Halls of Lightning. That's not bad. Because he has like an AoE farm. Tagada, gonna be sending you northwest to Drakmabwa to get her more stuff for her defenders if she didn't already. While you up there, Ahunai be waiting you to destroy the rifts those elementals pouring out of. The last thing we need in it is for them to attack us. Just watch out. More of those frozen earth will show up when you try to seal the rifts. Be seeing you. Yeah, I'm not really I'm not really looking for a boot to do any boosts. Alright, so we have to get these relics. We're not in any rush. Get level 80. We'll get there soon enough, that's for sure. I assume we'll probably be level 80 in in February, early February. That's my guess. And then we'll have the rest of the year to have fun at max level. But yeah, that's the first time I heard about mages doing boosts. So that's interesting. I guess they can do a little bit of an AoE farm in Halls of Lightning. Looks like these guys dropped the relics as well. We'll go for the we'll go for the easy ones. Seems like they're all over the place. Pretty much doing all the filler quests right now that we probably should have uh, done while we were doing the other quests. Elemental Rift Sealed, I think. Yeah. Still have to do that. And I'll turn this quest in quick while we're here. Hello, man. Stay away from the. Jakari are so busy destroying themselves, it would be a shame if the historical significance of their empire were to be likewise lost. Spirits be with Ah, prime man. specimens. You can see there the divergence from the root symbology. Quite extraordinary. What a pity that the ice trolls are determined to bring down their own demise. Bring about their own demise. Did you know, for instance, that the Jukari were exiled from the rest of the troll nations for their extreme violent ways? It's true. How did you think trolls ended up in such a harsh climate as this? Oh, we got a lot of quests here. Plundering their own. There is another altar nearby where there are artifacts to be saved. It is said that the Jakari at the altar of Runok to the northwest beyond the broken tundra of Drak Mabwa have already plundered their own holy site. Druid, I would be appreciative if you could rescue those artifacts from their undeserving hands. Stay away from the voodoo. Tails up. Be seeing ya. Along with the Jakari artifacts, I'm interested in returning to Xandalar with some of the Zuldrak wildlife. I have males of both the frost leopards and ice paw bears but I need females. Too bad that tr my trapper was killed in a most unfortunate accident. Perhaps you would be willing to fill in for him. Put the leopards and bears to sleep with his blowgun, then lift their tails and return with some females, if you would be so kind. They can be found near the altars of Runok, Quesselzen, and Harkoa. Lita. And we got another quest here. Hello, Uma. Frozen Earth. Be good. We capture these elementals from nearby, and I have plenty of defenders now. But it takes a great deal of power to make them strong enough to stand up to our enemies. The Frozen Earth of Drakmabwa to the northwest have what I need to maintain our defenses. I'll need more of their essence if I'm to keep this up. Spirits be with you. All right, so we can pick up a bunch of quests. The ruins of... Uh, the altar of Runok. We'll get this buff though first from Zimruk. Which gives us an insane amount of uh, mana regen. There we go. So 
So now we have a decent amount of stats. You are flying. It's so weird when it does that. I'm trying to pick a herb. Kind of like bugs out, then it realizes, oh, you're a druid, you can do that. Okay, so let's seal these elemental rips. I'm not too sure if that just means destroy them. We have uh, the blowgun, though, to put the females to sleep. And the medallion of the mammoth. Did we get an essence there? Fire. No, we did not. Oh, these guys drop it. Oh, we did. Okay, so we, to get the essence is up, it's from the, the elementals. We just have to destroy these. To uh, finish off the, the rip part. Oh, he's immune to my rats, but not my starfires. Hopefully now we won't have to worry too much about mana. Now that we have the Elixir of Draenic Wisdom and also the Blessing from Zentorga. And we also have uh, Inner Bait. We haven't got any essences yet. Okay, we finally got one. <laughs> it's about damn time. Try to find more seals here. There's one. Or rifts. We can deal with this. Yeah, pretty rare, it seems, to get the the essence of frozen earth to drop. any mana pots on us? Yeah. Get the trends to deal with them.
Gotta get this guy. It's too bad the Typhoon doesn't work on these guys. They don't get pushed back at all. They might be in trouble. Pull too many. I don't have more stomp to get out of this. I'm gonna die. It's the third death today. <laughs> That's a rough one. <laughs> We're just trying stuff out though. I almost want to see how much I can pull. So I guess threes. The max, unless I hop myself up before the pull. Probably start our start out a little low as well. Let's think cast chain lighting. I didn't know that. I think we had inner bait there. Could have maybe got away and healed, but it would have been would have been tough. We lost our buffs. Yeah, it wasn't worth it at all. That's too bad. We sealed all the rifts. So we'll go back and turn this in. And clearly we have a lot of quests to do. A lot of quests to do. I think this might be the last quest for uh, Galper and Unai. Still have to do Wooly Justice. Unai hoping that Taganda got all of the defenders she wanted. With those rifts sealed, it's not likely she'll be getting any more. Stay away from them. Scalps. I think it'd be time to do some scalping, man. The trolls at Heb Drakar to the northeast would do nicely with their fancy bats and attacking us. They got it coming. Ahunai even give you his own knife. That you do the job right. Be careful. All right. Well, we got a lot of quests to do on the map. It's like full of quests now, and I guess we'll be. Uh, trying to get those down next episode I'm not too sure if we'll be able to get them all but we are we'll get we'll get them down eventually and then we have to eventually go west again and finish up all these quests that we uh, left behind that's going to be the end of today's episode guys as always thanks for watching keep your heads up later